Hello guys, welcome to the new tutorial. Often times we have duplicated rows of data in our table. In this video, we are going to see the way you can eliminate the duplicate rows from your table. There are many ways to do it. Here we are going to cover two of them. The first is by using the unique function. The unique function returns your unique rows. To use the function, write is equals to unique. Here I'm going to select this data set. Then close the bracket, enter. It will give you all the unique rows in order of occurrence. So this was one of the ways. Let's look at another way to get unique rows. In the next method, we are going to use query. Write is equals to query. Then select the data set. Under quotations, write select A, comma B comma sum c. Then we are going to use group by function. Write group by a comma b and then label function label sum c to total sales. Let me explain what this query looks like. The function select a b sum c will return these columns in the final result. Group by function groups your same rows into single row. It is usually combined with the function like sum in our case. So group by a, b, sum c will group your column by unique values of a and b and it will sum the values of sales made at multiple instances by each person. And at the last, by label sum c, we are going to rename the newly created column containing sum to total sales. So this is what our result looks like. We have all the unique rows which were available in our original data set. By using unique function, you get the rows by order of occurrence. Once the element has been detected, all the duplicate rows will not be shown and the first one will come in the result. By using group by function, we can sum or average or whatever function you put that will be applied to all the instances of rows. That means in our case, it has added all the rows which were similar. So that's all for today guys. This was the short tutorial on how you can eliminate the duplicate rows in Google Sheets. I hope you liked the video and learned something from this tutorial. I'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching.